name's Ryan Rembert. I'm part of Costco Consulting. I'm here to talk to you about our new Costco location opening up in Detroit. Little brief history of Costco. Costco was founded by Jeffrey Brotman and James Senegal. Their original store was founded in 1976 under the name Price Club. It wasn't until 1983 that they opened up their first Costco, which was a warehouse or uh, retailer. But in 1993, they decided to merge both of those companies to become the Costco we know and love today. As of 2018, there are currently 770 Costcos worldwide. A little bit about our proposed location. We are going to be opening up in the Corktown neighborhood of Detroit. Specifically, we will be on the southwest corner of Rosa Parks Boulevard and the West Fisher Service Drive. That is about a, an approximate 11 minute drive from the city of Dearborn. Uh, the nice thing about our location, as you can see highlighted in red, it provides ample space for a warehouse, parking, as well as gas station. Hi, I'm Haley. Here is our map view of our public transportation, where X marks the spot of our Costco location. Um, and then our pickup and drop off points are here at Michigan and Rosa Parks Boulevard, and then here at Rosa Parks Boulevard and Fisher Freeway. Here is a street view of our public transportation with the same pickup and drop off locations, and then right in this blue is where our Costco location will be. Here is our outdoor layout, which includes a parking lot with approximately 750 parking spaces with around 15 to 20 handicapped spots at least. Here is our gas station and where our Costco warehouse will be located. The green arrows represent the entrance to our warehouse. The red stars represent the entrances that customers will take. The blue star is our delivery entrance and exit. Our diamonds over here represent the cart returns. Here are all of our street lights in yellow. The indoor free throw layout is this right here. Um, in purple, we have our departments. For example, we have the electronics, phone, jewelry department, clothes, books, wine, etc. This represents our public restroom that is offered to the public in our tire sales department. We have our entrance and exit right here with our shopping carts, our yellow stars, and then Here's our food court and some benches there as well, and then here's just our overall layout. Hi, I'm Philip, and for our target market, we decided that there was a need for more grocery stores in the metro Detroit area and in the Corktown neighborhood. The income and population of residents that are accustomed to have a bulk retailer, they have to drive a further distance. Closest Costco would be in Livonia, and then people that travel from the surrounding cities are uh, they currently have to travel about 20 minutes or more to shop at Costco. So Costco in Corktown, Detroit would be more convenient for those people to shop. And specifically speaking, 43% of Dearborn's population fits into our target age range for Costco in Corktown. And then for our customer information, target uh, customer age range would be 25 to 55 years old. The average household earns an average of $100,000 $100, annually. This would be middle class to upper middle class families. And these, these families live in the metro Detroit area, specifically the cities of Dearborn, Dearborn Heights, Midtown, and Downtown Detroit. Hi, my name's Elisha, and we're gonna talk about Costco's SWOT analysis. Now, Costco has a lot of strengths, actually. We have a very loyal consumer base, very good customer service because you know we're nationwide and when it comes to feedback, it's really great. We got very low prices, so what we make up in our profit margins, we also have a bunch of volume in sales. We also have a very eco-friendly approach to things, so you know our Kirkland brands, our detergents, all that other stuff, very eco-friendly, and again, our loyal consumer base. However, we do have a few weaknesses which we can overcome. Our simpler and smaller selection means that there's fewer SKUs, so we have less of a choice, but we can also, you know, overcome that through our, our pricing strategies. Unfortunately, we have a low urban presence, so cities like Detroit, Chicago, those places don't have that much knowledge of how Costco operates because, you know, we don't have that many areas there. So we're hoping to raise awareness of our locations. We also, unfortunately, have a percentage of profits that are very reliant on membership. This means that if you don't have people buying your memberships every year, cats kind of have a bit of a thing. And it's also 
with our pricing strategy is that we have low price margins, which means that if you don't sell as much, we don't profit as much. That's a big problem. However, we have opportunities. We are trying to build our e-commerce sales constantly. So we're trying to get the edge out of Amazon and all of the people that have our you know, e-tailing. And we're trying to have kind of have move some of our inventory to online only warehouses. And we're also skirting with the possibility of an online only membership. So basically you don't have to worry about brick and mortar costs as well. And for people that are, you know, the, we're, the ones that we're getting like skewed younger, that's gonna be the people that we're gonna target with that online only, only membership. There are some threats that we can hopefully overcome in the next few months. With increased labor costs, like you know, inflation and stuff, and with the new hires, it's gonna be a little bit of a cost barrier. However, we have a very low turnover rate, especially nationwide. So that means that we don't have to spend a lot of costs in retraining new employees and you know development and stuff because they're already there. Uh, we don't have to we don't have to worry about them leaving or firing them. We also have our competition with Sam's Club here, and then also in Canada with like Windsor. We got like the Real Canadian Superstores Warehouse Division, which you know we have more brand awareness, especially in not not just here but also in Canada. So as as we put that uh, there, it's, it's going to be better. And finally, we got our aggressive pricing strategies with people like Amazon and Walmart cutting their products really well. And while sometimes you might have you know not the best competition in terms of like let's say clothing or tires. We have a lot of loss leaders, gas especially, as well as food that we can, you know, use to lure, <laughs> not lure, but you know, attract our customers here. And that'd be a great opportunity for us if we can you know, overcome these threats. My name is Billy Saeed, and as we continue to talk about Costco, we have to also understand how we operate. And we have to follow our Costco's mission statement to assure our guests and our customers that we focus our direction and inspire them to come back and to follow our mission statement, which is to provide our Costco members with quality goods, services at the lowest price possible. And we follow our core, four core values to make sure our customers come back and they understand they're important to us, which is to obey the law, take care of our members, take care of our vendors, and take care of our employees. Hi, I'm Greg McDade, and today I'll be speaking with about the memberships offered at Costco. So at Costco, we offer three different memberships to our customers. Three include the Gold Star membership, the Business membership, and the Executive membership. What you get, well, the Gold Star membership first, it's a $60 annual fee, and with the Gold Star membership, you get a free household card, which means that you can give a card to a sibling, child, spouse, or someone in your household and they will receive the same benefits as you. Um, also, it is important to note that this membership is valid at any Costco worldwide, whether United States, North, any North America location, European location. With the business membership, you get every benefit of the Gold Star membership on top of the ability to purchase and resale your membership. It's important to note that you must provide all information, appropriate resale information to Costco when you are looking to resale. Third membership, being the executive membership, is a little bit more pricey than the other two. If there's a $120 annual membership fee. It includes a household card similar to the Gold Star membership as well as it's valid at all Costco locations. You receive an annual 2% reward on all Costco products that you buy, on some of the Costco products that you buy. Additional benefits and greater savings on Costco services such as traveling. So Costco can help you book a trip, book a hotel, and possibly bundle all of these things. When it comes to promotion, advertising to get the message out about our grand opening we will reach out to local radio stations such as 96.3 955 and we will look to advertise during their morning morning radio shows we will send out press releases to the Detroit free press and Detroit news alike and we will also pay for advertisements on the daily morning news for Fox 2. 
At the grand opening, we will offer raffles for membership purchases. We will offer free beef hot dogs, pizza, and ices. There will be things for the children to do while parents shop. And we were also offering limited stock items and discounts on certain items that we have available. At the grand opening, we will have the likes of Miguel Cabrera from the Tigers, Darius Slay from the Lions, and Dylan Larkin from the Red, Red Wings on site signing autographs and taking pictures with their fans. Here, so we have social media everywhere now that these days. And here at Costco, we are here connected to every social media outlet possible to, to learn. And what we have here to offer, we have the 18 friendly apps on our, small, on our smartphone to uh, know what discounts, deals, promotion, any events we have. You can go to Costco, it does it again, Instagram page, it's got about 480 followers. We got eight Facebook pages, six Twitter accounts, two LinkedIn accounts, and one YouTube channel. This helps us connect to our customers in a way that builds our trust relationship and our sales. And you got 24 access to any of these prices, deals, and any of these social media outlets. And here is my favorite slide. 100% satisfaction guarantee any return you can take it back. The cup, food, electronics. That, you take it back. It's going to be 90 days. But you get my point. You can go and membership cancellation fee. And anytime, anytime you're just not dissatisfied, we'll take it out of here. And on return, you can go to any Costco warehouse location to return at any time. And online, very easy. You go through our Costco.com. Hi, my name is Garrett. I'll be going over the financials here for you for Costco. Costco's national average for store size is around 145,000 square feet. Ours will have a cost of $22 million, which accounts for the building itself, not the parking lot and everything else. Um, Costco's average cost of capital expenditures to build a store per store is $106 million, while we will be coming under a little bit under that. Our building's real estate expenses are total out to be $37.4 million. Our overall average cost of goods sold for each Costco store comes out to be $113 million per store, while we plan on spending $96 million on that first year and our cost of goods sold. Um, our opening inventory we're planning on to be around $18.75 million. Now Costco does their inventories four times a year for all the main stuff other than produce, and produce is done eight times a year. So it comes out to around $96 million for the year. Um, our opening salaries with 250 employees per average of 30,000 per employee comes out to be $7.5 million for the year. Um, all of our sources of capital will be provided by Costco Wholesale Corporation who will own 100% of the company. Total first year costs will consist of 163.5 million for the length of the first year, from opening up the building to getting the parking lot to stocking it all the way through the end of the calendar year. On behalf of everyone here, thank, thank you for choosing Costco. Costco.